92.5. Will Eubank, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. We were just watching the trailer for The Signal, and it looks really scary. It, it, it is scary. <laughs> no, it only yeah. scary at times. No, so. yeah. <laughs> no it's, it's, uh, it's a crazy film. So it's, it's about these kids on a road trip who disappear in the Southwest um, and wake up in a, some sort of government facility, they're told, and they don't know what has happened to them. And the people tell them they may or may not have made contact with aliens. So it's, wow. it's, a, it's a crazy film. Do you nope. believe in aliens? Um, I... Yes, probably, yes, but not, like, really roaming around. They're probably just somewhere way right. out there, maybe. They're not hanging out with us. No, no. But you don't know for sure. I do not know for sure, no. You don't know us very well. <laughs> yeah, you guys could be aliens. Well, they say, actually, in Pennsylvania, at the intersection of, was that Interstate 380 and 80? Yeah. That that is the most UFO sightings in no the way. country. No Right in that area. It's, yeah, it is because you're way at the top of a hill. and it's... Those people are drunk all the time. <laughs> yeah. and those people are drunk all the time. I, I saw an alien. I, I know. Saw. They see a lot of stuff up there. It's big NASCAR country and stuff. <laughs> yes. you That's know? what they're saying. But, Will, you seem very young. Like, How did you get into it as a, as a director? Um, I have just been trying to make movies <laughs> so, since I was out well, of high school. Well, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's working pretty well for you. Yeah, me. yeah. Um, no, I, I started at a company called Panavision as a camera technician. And sort of use, I didn't really know anybody in the industry. So I, um, yeah, that, that was sort of my route in was the technical side. And I, I came up as a cinematographer um, coming out of Panavision, learning the cameras and, and just kind of kept working and writing my own stuff. So You look like a director. Uh, thank right? you. Right? <laughs> like, I mean, the way that you're dressed, your demeanor, you are very director-like. Is there like, is that, do you study people and think if this, you know, they always say the dress for your next job is that what you did as I, a I don't. I cinematographer? Just, I, I think I just sort of dressed this way, but um, <laughs> yeah, I try to sort of match stuff, so I don't know what that means about me. I mean, <laughs> Today's I, gray and black day, and I think we're all yeah, you know, yeah, we are, along we right are. here. You have some hot pink on, though, well, so yeah, thank you. that is the most color in thank this you. room. Thank you. Oh, you were talking to her. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> thought my so, shirt rose up a little bit. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> so, Will, you have a Lawrence Fishburne in this movie. What is it like working with somebody like him? Gravitas. Um, he He's a really awesome some dude really really intense but very um you know just like when he called me and told me he was into the film and, and that he had read the script and was just really pumped on it uh that felt to me very legitimizing like i'd actually done yeah. something that like oh okay well, kept you, him engaged you helped write the screenplay too right so this isn't just that as a director you were asking him i mean for him to say something about the script must have yeah. been really flattering then yeah yeah i wrote it with my little brother carlisle and my friend david Fergerio. And uh, yeah, both, you know, to, to have our work sort of uh, legitimized by Lawrence Fishburne is just yeah. like a good moment. You're like, oh, okay, we're on the right track. That's awesome. Who else was like, because I know when you're putting a movie together, you have like, you know, here's my wish list. And Lawrence Fishburne was obviously on your wish list. But did you have other people like, uh, you know, if I don't get Lawrence, then we're going to go to... Um, you know, you don't really, th you try not to think like that. You just sort of go, okay, where are we at right now? Um and I never imagined we would get uh, Mr. Fish, but um, Mr. Fish. We, we did, you know. So it was like, and, you know, Landed you just sort of fish. take it one, right. st one step at a time. So. so as you're writing, do you have certain people in mind? Um, you know, it's funny, actually, in this particular film, I, I, I was actually writing just thinking of uh, the character Anton Chigurh from uh, No Country for Old Men, um, a very intense sort of uh, emotionless character. Mm. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, Fishburne created a, a slightly different character than that, but, but it still had gravity, so. Um, so, you made this movie with $500,000. No, that was my first film. That this was your one, first a little one. bit more. This one's just say. under five, so five okay. million. So, it's still a small indie film. Right. Um, and yeah, but my first one was 500000 So, I was just listening to an interview with, like, David Spade or something, I don't remember who it was, but anyway, somebody in Hollywood who was saying that these days movies e seem to either be like little indie, like low budget films or huge big budget 
films. Like, like there's there, no there doesn't in seem to be any in between anymore, right? Yeah, it's it's tricky. I mean, because the the big blockbusters, um, they know how to market those. They know how many audiences uh, or how big their audience is that they're going to reach. And then you're constantly, no matter what, you're never going to get rid of the small ones because the small ones are always trying. You know, there's a lot of filmmakers trying to get their voice out there. Right. And um, yeah, the in between area is tough because it's like, how big is this film going to be? How many people are we going to market this to? How much money is it going to make back? Back. So from a uh, industry standpoint, it's tough. The in between is a, is a kind of a question mark, I guess you could say. Where does most of the money go when you have your budget? That could be anywhere. I mean, there's sort of what is called a below the line and a below above the line budget. And uh, below the line are the workers, and those are the people, um, you know, like actually making the movie. And above the line are the are, are the actors and and uh, the producers and the directors. And so those two price points can be extremely different. Sometimes you have a very small film where they might pay a big actor to come in for like one day, right? And they pay him a huge amount of money, and it might be almost the amount of the budget for. Or like the rest of the film so um, it can really be all over the place and the signal particularly you know is very low budget and 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 everyone was really doing it um, from their heart so it wasn't like anyone got paid like a ton of money or anything so, so. does like Lawrence Fishburne know that going in you're yeah, like listen yeah. we're, we can't really pay you for this <laughs> yeah. but I think that you'll like it yeah I mean he was just a fan so he um, he was just excited by the story that would be an awkward conversation yeah, like, I would think listen like, I've got a bunch of gift cards and that's about <laughs> it that's so, <laughs> all I can do for you and you do a lot of damage yeah. at Target have I got something for you buddy <laughs> here's a star- yeah, Starbucks card <laughs> um, no you know that's the cool part uh, about this film is it, it, it uh, everyone was really motivated to do it which was really cool um, but yeah you, you kind of never know how that's going to go that's why there's agents in Hollywood you right. know all those people do the business That's talking. Good. Now, after The Signal, and you have success with this, do you have a third movie you're working on? Yeah, uh, working on a couple other ones right now. I have a sort of a, a, a military movie that I'm working on, um, sort of about drone pilots. And then I have sort of a, a Scottish Highlander project that I'm working on that, that's a ways away, but sort of. So depending on the success of the signal, is that how you realize what kind of money you're going to have for your future exactly. projects? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> go see the movie. I guess so yeah. go see the yes. movie, yeah. You seem like a nice guy, so we're really going to push people to see it. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah. And then we could say, we knew you when. Uh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all sort of audience driven. So like tell your friends and if you if you dig it, tell people about it. And if you don't dig it, then you can still tell people about it. Right. Just, don't, yeah. just don't tell your enemies about it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, exactly. You've got to see this movie. So yeah, it comes out uh, June thirteenth. So. Will, thank you so much for joining us. Will you thank you. you. Hey, we're Doc and Andy, and we want to thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Was not awesome. Was so awesome, right? Was my favorite video, that one right there. And if you liked it, then make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube, our YouTube channel. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe to YouTube. By the way, you can do it right down, that doesn't look right, but you can do it right down there. Yeah, click that link and then check out more videos.